Hello, I'm Paul Smith and I'm standing outside the Sussex home of Patrick Moore. And I believe Patrick Moore and John Mason, authors of Teach Yourself Astronomy, are waiting to meet us. So, come on. My name is Patrick Moore. Uh, I'm an amateur astronomer. I specialised in mapping the moon, which I did before the Apollo astronauts went there. My name is John Mason. I'm a physicist by profession, but amateur astronomy has always been my lifelong passion, and I was introduced to astronomy by the gentleman on my left. <laughs> the book we're going to write is the kind of book that both John and I would have liked to have had when we started out in astronomy. The book is divided really into three sections. The first section is how you get started in astronomy, the various steps you take. The second section describes the solar system, the planets and the stars and a general introduction to the stellar heavens. And the third part is specific aspects of what we call observation astronomy, things to do basically. There will of course be a section upon computers and what we call CCDs or charge couple devices and that section will be written by John who knows far more about them than I do. I have in fact written all my books on that typewriter. It's a 1908 Woodstock and I was given that when I was eight years old and it's used to this day. Can you still get the ribbons? You have to get the new ribbons and wind them onto the old spool and this is quite a business. A messy job. It has to be done. There are still some people who confuse astronomy with astrology. Astrology is the superstition of the stars, and it does prove one scientific fact and one only, and it's simply this, there's one born every minute. There's one other point too, you know, we are aiming for people who are naturally interested in astronomy. We very much hope also there that your youngster or your older person who goes around, sees this book on the bookshelf, and oh, what's this, astronomy, picks it up and looks at it, it's rather interesting, I'll buy it. If this book does anything to encourage people to take an interest in astronomy and give them a lifelong hobby, then it will have been well worth writing. I'd like you to say that you see, you, you foresee astronomical sales for um, Hodder and Stoughton. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs>